India's long-standing defense relationship with Russia faces challenges, especially in light of supply chain disruptions due to the Russo-Ukraine conflict and India's delicate stance on the issue. A pivot towards acquiring the F-35 from the US would mark a significant shift, highlighting India's urgency to modernize its military capabilities in response to regional pressures. Last year, two Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighters were flown in India for the first time at the Aero India Air Show. According to CBS, the appearance left spectators awestruck by the fighter jet's design and aerobatics. Aside from impressing the crowd, the F-35's appearance raised important questions about the future of the jet and the strategic partnership between the United States and India. Frankly, we have seen such high-level American participation before, said Manmohan Bahadur, a retired vice marshal of the Indian Air Force. But geopolitically, things are a little different. China is a little more aggressive, so this is important for us. The F-35's appearance comes as India is intent on upgrading its fighter jet fleet to defend against bordering rivals like China and Pakistan. The United States, which is selective about which countries it sells the F-35 to, has not made it clear whether they have offered the jet to India, CBS reported. Nor has the Indian Air Force said anything official. Bahadur was skeptical that India would purchase the F-35. There is no doubt that the F-35 is a very capable fighter jet. But I don't think India would consider it as of now, certainly not in the near future, because it has to fit our scheme of things, our current systems. Yet, Rear Admiral Michael L. Baker said that New Delhi was in the very early stages of considering whether to purchase the F-35. If India were to purchase the F-35, it would represent a shift in geopolitical arms flow. For years, the Indians have been dependent upon the Russians for military hardware. Indeed, most of India's Air Force, Navy, and Army equipment has been sourced from Russia. And in 2022, when Russia invaded Ukraine, India resisted Western pressure to denounce Putin's actions and impose sanctions. However, India has practical concerns over its arrangement with Russia, which is experiencing supply delays because of the Russo-Ukraine war and could slow down deliveries to India. As tensions grow between India and her neighbors, New Delhi is increasingly anxious to upgrade its military without delay. The United States seems keen to supplant Russia as India's go-to military supplier. The world's biggest arms importer is slowly turning west as the United States looks to strengthen ties in the Indo-Pacific region, hoping to contain an ascendant China by weaning the South Asian nation off a traditional dependence on Russia. Russia supplied 65% of India's weapons purchases of more than $60 billion during the last two decades, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. But the Ukraine war hastened the impetus to diversify its weapons base. We are not likely to sign any major military deal with Russia, said Nandan Unikrishnan, a Russia expert at New Delhi think tank, the Observer Research Foundation. That would be a red line for Washington. That view comes despite Moscow's offers, described by four Indian government sources, among them a senior security official who recently retired, as including platforms such as the most advanced Kamov helicopters and Sukhoi and MiG fighter jets, with the added fillip of joint manufacturing in India. Russia has publicly urged India to step up defense ties but Prime Minister Narendra Modi has turned his focus to domestic production with Western technology, experts and officials said. Such efforts would better fit Modi's Make in India program to encourage domestic manufacturing as he makes a rare bid for a third term in general elections, due by May. India expects to spend nearly $100 billion on defense orders over the next decade, its defense minister has said. Last year, India and the United States signed a deal for General Electric, opens new tab to produce engines in India to power its fighter jets, the first such US concession to a non-ally. They also plan to fast-track technology cooperation and co-production in areas ranging from air combat to intelligence, they said at the time. If Washington sold the F-35 to New Delhi, it would not be the two countries' first aerospace transaction. India already possesses the US-made P-8 Poseidon and the AH-64 Apache. 
Lockheed Martin has spent years courting an Indian contract, not for the F-35, but for the F-21, an upgraded version of the F-16 that has been outfitted specifically for India's needs. Everyone recognizes, no doubt, the strategic value of solidifying a relationship with India as a natural counter to Chinese influence, as well as the financial value in supplying the military of the world's most populous nation.